as you can see a few punches to the face that ain't about nothing but we out here out of work it's the weekend cn see me player i don't play that shit feel me word up what the hell Oh, nigga, I just got here. How the fuck I got dirt on my pants already? That was fast. I don't know how you think I roll on this shit. Anyway, man. Woo! You earned that. Sweating and shit. My tank top is wet. No homo. Tank top is all way. More than long walks. I had to endure. Feel me? All along walks, man. Now I'm my usual stop. When people compete with you so much, it's ridiculous. They be intentionally forgetting that you stop on this side. It's like they want you to keep going. I'm like, my nigga, this is my stop. I stop right here. I always stop right here. Shit, nigga. What do I have to do? Mark the tree? Come on, man. Don't you know if I show too much favoritism to anything, they get jealous of that thing? Come on, man. How these niggas be hating, man? Anyway, man, you have to... It, you have to, how do you call it? You have to be abnormal to break the norm. I was thinking about that when I was coming here. You have to be abnormal to break the norm. You feel me? Everybody keep doing the same thing. We all have the same beliefs. We all follow the same tradition. We all say, if you do this too much, this is what is going to happen. But yet nobody takes the chance or the initiative to try another thing different. So when you have somebody like myself who's a little different, I'm not, I don't know what I'm different or not, but that's what they're telling me I'm different. I never saw myself as different. You feel me? I can't take credit for being different because I don't even know what that means. But when you have somebody like myself who is denied by a lot of people, so I was forced maybe to be different or I, I, I think different from others. So I was forced to separate myself by a wide mar margin. This is what they will say to you. So I don't believe in what they believe in. You feel me? They try to sell me ideas. I don't, I don't, I, I don't believe in the ideas. You feel me? Because I'm looking at your character and I'm like, that shit ain't matching up. So why would I listen to you? Even if you're right, I still want to. I still wouldn't listen to you. Reason why? Cause your behavior is bad. So even when you tell me something right, you have a, an agenda behind what you're telling me. So although you could be right, you're still wrong. Cause the way you express yourself is wrong. So even when you're telling me, "Hey, praise God" and everything else like that, now nah, you could be right. But I'm not going to listen to you. I'll listen to somebody else who shows and display that kind of characteristics. That's the person I'm going to listen to. You feel me? You don't have to take... Trust me, man. You don't have to take information from people who don't display these kind of things. Even the devil used words from the Bible to trick Eve and others. When you read the Bible, the devil, you can tell the devil knows his Bible. He knows his words. But he uses the truth to trick you. He uses the truth to guilt trick you. You feel me? You use the truth against you. You feel me? That's what they do. So you're not supposed to listen to them. You're supposed to stay in your faith. They'll be like, no. And although you are right, I'm looking at your behavior. And your behavior does not spell what is coming out your mouth. So that in itself, I'm not going against the word that you're using. I'm going against the person that's using the words. And it's very important where the words are coming from. Because from what the Bible have taught us, it's teaching us that the devils and his disciples or his demons also use the word of God to get things done. So which is telling us that 
it's not really about good or bad or if the word is good. It's more about the character and the intention of the character. You feel me? What's the point in time God called men to kill in his name? Now, is killing bad? You feel me? Is killing bad. Killing is not bad. It's the intention. What was you doing it for? What was your purpose behind it when you did it? You feel me? Like I've always said, they will send a soldier to Iraq to go kill. He has a license to kill. But yet, the, per the, 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 the same person can be home and somebody will try to kill a little man. When he defend himself, he's labeled as a criminal. You feel me? So which one was bad? The one that he did overseas or the one that he did when he came home? Feel me? My bus was supposed to be income, so I'm kind of on edge. So it's never about if you're doing good or if you're a good person or if you're holier than thou. What are your intentions for the things that you're doing? There are people out there who go to other countries to, to, to feed kids, to, to, to do all kinds of things, build homes for the homeless and do all that stuff. But what are the intentions? They're doing that shit just to put it on Instagram for gratification. It's that grandiose, grandiose, whatever they call it, grandiose kind of attitude. Uh, look at me. Look at what I'm doing. Look at me. I'm in Africa taking care of kids, feeding kids. Look at me. I'm giving. I'm giving. I'm taking care of the homeless. I'm doing. They just doing it for those intentions. So although they're doing good and they're spending their money doing good, the intentions is bad. So the outcome of it, although it looks good, is for bad intentions. So it will never be blessed. It's not good. You feel me? So that's why you don't just listen to any and everybody who got something to say and they use, they do that shit very, very good. They do, man. It's the, damn, TDJ was talking about this. I should have wrote it down. They use the, 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 they use the lust of the skin. Of course, they bring women and everything else around. Have you lusting? They use the, um, what else? They used the word then. The way he put it was very beautiful. I got to watch it again. Take notes. But he was basically using it as an example. He said they used the lust of the skin. They also used... Um, when... When... When, uh, when Jesus was in the desert and he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights and the devil tried to tempt him. And the devil was using all these scriptures from the Bible... And he told him to jump off a cliff. And he said, if you jump off the cliff, wouldn't the angels come and save you? You feel me? He said, wouldn't that happen? And according to uh, the professors and the ones that have studied the book, they said it, it did say that. So the devil, of course, used these words. He looked, he probably reading the Bible more than you niggas. He in there reading that shit, like, <laughs> guiding information. He's using the same information that we use to channel into God. He's also using the same information to trick you at your spot. So most people be thinking. They think that just being a good person is something that is something that you can just do. No, nigga, it's a spot that is it's more like a, a class that you have to stay in. Like you feel me? It's like a it's like a I don't want to make this money, but you guys to. It's more like an upper class that you got to stay in. And if you don't keep up with the money that you're making, you can fall below that class. And that's the same thing with the kingdom of God or a divine thinking. You feel me? You constantly have to fight to stay in that spot. It's a very special place because the devil will use the surroundings that you're in to lower you out of your rightful place. Yes, you're in a divine place. You in the kingdom of God, you thinking very high and everything else like that. And he will come and use your surroundings, the things that you're attracted to. You feel me? The doors, your windows of divine thoughts and everything else. He will use those things against you. You feel me? Because he speaks the language that you speak. And he does not want you in that spot because he's jealous of you being in that spot. He is... The, he's the only one that wants to be in that spot. I was listening to um, Genesis. Um, there's, a, there's a YouTube channel called Genesis. And there was, I've always said that the elements, 
I've always said that the elements, we are made of the same elements as our sun, right? i said that many times. And I call the elements spirit. That's how I describe the elements. The elements that make up the sun is the same elements that make us, that makes us up. You feel me? And there's only, there's one element out of all the other elements which does not interact with the other elements. And that name of that element is helium. Out of all the elements that we made up of the sun, helium is the only thing that we are not made out of. You feel me? Because helium, if you breathe in helium in, in any form or shape, it makes you sound funny. You become very jitterish. It's like instant happiness. That's what helium does. Helium is like a gas that really does not interact with anything else. It's just itself. It's just a gas. I guess it, it really... What's its purpose? I don't have no... I have no idea. You know how you have hydrogen, then oxygen. They came together with the number two, H2O, that made water. So these elements come together to form something of a matter. You feel me? So you have spirits, which are the elements. We usually combine together with the math and everything else like that, and they create matter. But helium is God himself. If there was ever a God and you were to identify God, helium would be God himself. He don't have to uh, he don't have to be attached to any of the elements, but yet it still it still can be part of it. You feel me? But it does not have to be attached to it. It's like it's by itself. You don't hear no there's no matter in the world that has that that has a combination of helium. Let it pass. There's no matter in the world that has the combination of, let's just say, two helium and two hydrogen. No, there's no such thing. Helium is by himself. Every other element has formed a dancing partner. And I use the word H2O. You feel me? There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a, unis, a unis step going on to form something. You feel me? And this is an expression of the elements itself. The elements expression is what we see in this world as matter. So when all the elements come together, mathematically, they form us too. And they form the trees that you see. They also form, like I said, water. They also form air. They form everything that you feel and breathe and everything else like that. These are the spirits of the world itself. You feel me? Scientifically, that's what they call it, elements. Biblically, we call it spirit. It's the same thing. If you look at the definition, it's actually quite. It's actually the same definition. If you look at the definition of helium, I mean the definition of elements and spirits, they are the same explanation. You feel me? It's just science is a thousand. Now I say thousand. I say a hundred thousand years behind religion. Religion has already found the answer. It wrote it in lamest terms. It wrote it in the best way that you can it, it, best. it wrote it in the best way that you can understand it according to the level or the place you are in life. So the older that you get, you're expanding. It could be the same reading that you're reading, but yet you having a different understanding of what you're reading. So the Bible itself is like very magical. Whoever wrote it or whoever put those stories together. It's just an amazing piece of work. And you can't even deny it. You feel me? You just can't. So I guess my busing... This shit is whack, man. How the fuck you gonna skip your... Instead said it was supposed to come at the same time. You're supposed to show up at that time. You can't do that. You feel me? Oh, shit. That's not that complaints coming. Ha! All right, man. Sometimes you gotta complain. I'll highlight y'all later. One.